Welcome to the next lesson in the Weiss's Form Studio video training series. Today we're going to finish up our inventory receipt form by adding a print call to print the standard inventory label after each receipt. To do that, first you'll want to make sure I'm going to launch Agility Explorer here, which I already have open. You're first going to want to go to File, Options, Documents, Inventory, Standard, and make sure that you have an inventory label defined here. And if you do not, you could use our document import feature and import the standard documents that we distribute with WISIS. But it's important that the label be defined in document management first because Form Studio reads the parameters that are defined on the label so that you can set those in the form. So since we've confirmed that our label's defined, I'm going to close out of this. We can launch Form Studio. Select our training project. And again, we're going to copy the last lesson. And go ahead and open up that form. So since our inventory receipt form is working, we want to add one final action to the Receive button. So I'm going to select the Receive button and go to Actions for that button. And what we want to do is we want to print a document. So we're going to go ahead and hit Print Document. And then this returns a list of all the document types available to print. So as you can see, there's User Defined, Section, shop floor, shipping, receiving, pop production, picking, packaging, and inventory. So for inventory, we want our standard label. This lines up with the label we looked at in Agility Document Management. I'm going to go ahead and say Next. And then we're going to map the fields from our form. And like I said, these parameters, Form Studio reads these parameters from the label. So if you create your own label, and let's say you only pass the, the only parameter you define in your, on your label is the item number, if that label is loaded in document management, when you come in here, you will only see the one parameter that you define. Our location, and then our lot field. And go ahead and say Next. And then this section here, we want to also map the item. This is for if in document management you use the private um, document or you, you set the options for a specific category. And just to show you what that is again, it's a refresher. So if we were to um, where it says document is excluded from these items or product categories, we are mapping. If you wanted to exclude certain product categories, you would have to map that in this section when you define the label setup. So since we're not excluding anything by product category, I'm just going to go ahead and map the item and say finish. Now we don't want the form to clear before we print our document, so I'm going to highlight this and move it up in the list and go ahead and say close. Now let's save and test our form. So now we have the printer icon. So before we print, we need to make sure that our label is going to a printer somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and you'll see it finds the label in document management and then we're going to click the arrow to select a printer. So I'm just going to print to my document writer. Go ahead and say close. And then we'll just test. Go ahead and receive five of these. Do the receipt. And you'll see my system is flashing me and wanting me to save the name. Since we're going to the document writer, Inventory label, 
I'm going to put that on our desktop and go ahead and say save. And if we close out of here and minimize this, here we have successfully printed an inventory label after each receipt. And this concludes the building of the inventory receipt form and the lesson on adding documents and print functionality to a form.